Howdy, Rasmolites, and all of you new fans who might be seeing me for the very first time. Tis I, the one and the only, the Razman here, making my debut for the new revolutionary movie review channel called The Cigarette Burns. Started by my good friend, Civilian Snowman, who graciously asked me to be part of this channel. Now, for those of you that don't know what the channel is, like if you're a fan of mine and you haven't seen the other reviews on this channel, let me just quickly catch you up to speed here. The idea behind this channel is for all of us, there's four main reviewers. All of our names are on the main page as well as our main uh, personal channels. I'm also going to be putting my personal channel in the description box over to your right if you're leaving comments. If you're watching the channel on or watching the video on the main channel, I think it's underneath. I'm not exactly sure how this new YouTube channel design is working quite yet. But anyway, the idea behind the channel is simply this. Great movie reviewers are great in their own way. And what I mean by that is five great movie reviewers like we have here for regulars and one special guest could potentially see the same movie and not have the same opinions. So that's what we're going to be doing here on the cigarette burns. We're going to be watching the same movie every one, two, three weeks, depending on when we can get all together and agree to do a film. And hopefully, as a result of seeing multiple reviews on a film, you will get different opinions and you will be able to formulate your own opinion on whether or not to view the film through all of us. So, yeah, that's the cigarette burns in a nutshell. Now, very, very quickly, before I delve into my review here, for those of you that are Rasmonites and are used to seeing me and wonder why I'm in 640 by 480 and not 1280 by 720, or in layman's terms, high quality standard definition versus HD resolution here on YouTube. The answer is I'm using a different camera because I haven't got my new computer yet. Everything is explained in the video that I just put up a couple hours ago on my own personal channel. So head over there and check that one out. It's called Testing Out the New Webcam and Can I Get a Co-Host on Ustream TV because I had to do with another question I was asking. So. Now that that's out of the way, heat, that's this week's, or this round's film, is Michael Mann's Heat. And a lot of people think that this is Michael Mann's masterpiece. This is his coup de grace, if you will, or coup de grace. And... What I have to say about it is, they might very well be right, but that doesn't make it the be-all, end-all of action films. Because to me, when I was watching this, I've seen this movie a hundred times before. I'm not going to go over the plot or anything like that because I only have ten minutes and I had to get some personal stuff out of the way. So I'm not going to have a full 10 minutes to review the film. But if you don't know the plot of the film, go and check out the other three great reviews that have gone up prior to this. From Civilian Snowman, De La Morte, De La Morte, Zero, and Ray Organda. If you don't know the plot of the film. But... This was supposed to be, as I said, a revolutionary action film. 
people say that it's the godfather of action movies, and I just don't see it. To me, I've seen it a hundred times before, and I just wasn't that overly impressed with it. I just honestly wasn't. I've, it has a great battle scene in it, sure. It has great character development in it, sure. But, overall, I just wasn't that impressed with it as an action film. However, as a character development film, it is a tremendous, tremendous movie. I have yet to see a director in any action flick delve into his characters, even his side, know nothing characters, like the one played by Dennis Tabor, aka President Palmer from 24 in this film, get a vivid delving, delving into, excuse me, for stuttering a little bit here, I'm not used to not being able to edit, hopefully this turns out okay. But yeah, even Dennis Hayford's character gets a lot of attention. So, as a character development movie, and a movie that gets you emotionally invested in his characters, it's a five-star film. But, I cannot in good conscience make it a five-star film because it's supposed to be an action film. It's supposed to keep you on the edge of your seat. And other than the conversation between Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, the two main, the main villain and the main cop in the film, the two main characters, I didn't see that. I was not on the edge of my seat. And possibly the the battle scene, the shootout in the bank area, possibly that had me on the edge of my seat a little bit. But other than that, I just, I'm sorry, I just didn't see it. So, overall, I give it a 3 out of 5 heat. It was good for what it was, but I don't think it accomplished everything that it was meant to to accomplish. So, for me, The Razman, I give it Heat a 3 out of 5 stars. With that, I'll be back next time for another Cigarette Burns review, Razman style.